Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, Good morning Father. Father. This Mass is offered for the departed soul of Valsa Fernandez by Rock Fernandez and family, and also for the soul of Philomena by Gibson and family, and also for all souls in purgatory by Sharon and family, and also we offer the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and for a job, intention of Lakshmi for deliverance from all the evil and mother's conversion. And also intention at the coming of Kanikya Mary to Blessed Trinity to send Anthony and Mother Mary for all the blessings and favor she received. Let us begin the celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, today our Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast, transfiguration of the Lord. Jesus received a transfiguration on the Mount Tabor that we commemorate and also this feast speaks about Jesus life passion death and resurrection and his transformation purely revealed to the Apostles who is he he's a God the one who created and he has come to save the humanity today we celebrate this feast as a transformation Jesus has given a sign and symbol every human has to receive the gift of transformation in this holy eucharist it is the greatest gift for us to be part of it to receive god's gift once again to receive the gift of transformation we are asking the first step forgiveness for our sins i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy glory to god in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, 
with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirm the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and the wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants, that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I looked, thrones were placed, and one that was ancient of days took his seat. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames. Its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and came forth from before him. A thousand thousands served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court sat in judgment and the books were opened. I saw in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, there came one like a son of man. And he came to the ancient of days and was presented before him. And to him was given dominion and glory and kingdom, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom one that shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Let your response be, The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. The Lord, the Lord is, is King, King, most high above all the earth. earth. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Cloud and darkness surround him. Justice and right are the foundation of his throne. Your response? The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the face of the Lord, before the face of the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim His justice. All peoples see His glory. Your response? The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all gods. Your response? The Lord is King, most high above all the earth. The second reading, a reading from the let second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we do not follow cleverly devised myths when we made it known to you the power 
and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we are eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when we receive honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice was borne to him by the majestic glory, this is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. We hear this voice born from heaven, for we, for we are we with him on the holy mountain. And we have the prophetic word made more sure. You will do well to pay attention to this, as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rise in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, hallelujah, by the blood of Christ we stand. Every tongue, every tribe, every people, every land. Giving glory, giving honor, giving praise unto the Lamb of God. This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah, hallelujah, by the blood of Christ we stand. Every tongue, every tribe, every people, every land. Giving glory, giving honor giving praise unto the Lamb of God, giving praise unto the Lamb of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. At the time, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother and led them up a high mountain apart, and he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garments became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is well that we are here. If you wish, I will make three booths here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking, when behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces, were filled with awe. And but Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Rise and have no fear. Dear sisters and brothers, today the Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. This particular transfiguration repeated in all the three Gospels, synoptic Gospels we call theological term, means the similar Gospels. Gospel of Matthew chapter 17 verses 1 onwards we see Gospel of Mark chapter 9 and Gospel of Luke chapter 9 but moreover there is no any change all three of them written the incidents in same way in same manner on Mount Tabor and great prophet Elijah and Moses has appeared what is this transfiguration gives a message to all of us? Is it necessary for Jesus to receive the transfiguration, Mount Tabor? 
for why he has received this transfiguration, what is the purpose, if at all, if he received. We need to understand this. Today we saw first reading taken from Prophet Daniel. Daniel gives a future vision, how it will be. And he says that particular person who is worthy enough, he comes in front of everyone. Daniel and time of Jesus goes nearly some more than 700 to 800 years difference. That's what being given. So Daniel gets a vision in Babylon. He says, there is one, a person, a lamp-like, he wears a white cloth, a dazzling white. And he is worthy enough, he has been called the mighty one, and he says, he is the one, the promised one of God. But I don't know who is he. People have kept on waiting, 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 waiting. And these people kept on waiting. They didn't realize when the Son of God, for whom they are waiting, when he had come to give reverence to him, to welcome him, to honor him, and to glorify Yahweh. Instead of that, they went against him, the work of Satan. They become a slave of Satan. In the lips they utter, they are children of God, but in reality they become the children of Satan. Even still it's now continuing. They didn't recognize, still they're waiting for that particular person. And he came, he died for us, he had so much of passion, and he rose from the dead. So this and all, Jesus gave the revelation. The transfiguration has got very important role in this, what Daniel speaking and what we are reflecting on the gospel. Because all the prophets were foretelling what will happen, the great thing will happen with the presence of Messiah, the truly living God. And they were waiting, waiting, nobody recognized him. Those who recognized also because of the selfish sin, fear, whatever it is, they left him. And as a consequence, they lost the blessings. And still now, they keep on banging some walls here and there, waiting for him. So my dear sisters and brothers, this transfiguration message, before that we're reflecting, we should know what St. Peter is saying in second reading. Second Peter chapter 1, verses 1 onwards. That's the first word he uses. We are the eyewitnesses. We saw he is a son of God, he is a Messiah. The voice came from heaven. The voice which came when he was receiving baptism and river Jordan. When John the Baptist was baptizing him, this is my beloved son. That is called a great manifestation of God. The second manifestation is really revealing God himself to the apostles and to the world on the Mount Tabor. So that is what whatever the people were preparing themselves, the Old Testament has nothing to do. If Jesus is not there, there is no value of the Old Testament. The Old Testament is just a preparation for the New Testament. And the New Testament already arrived. And the Old Testament stands as a bookmark, as a footnote, as a support for it. And that is what very important we should focus more on the New Testament. That is God. And based on him, rest everything is there, the Old Testament, other reflection, other prophets, saints and all. That's the reason transfiguration plays very, very important role. Not an easy passage we can reflect and go away. Because transfiguration gives a transition time for everyone to have a reflection on God. For whom you were waiting, for whom this Old Testament has written, for whom sake this all the prophets, saints have all come. It's because of this person. And this person is God. So he shows on the Mount Tabor that I am that. I am that. So much of parables used. You cannot put the old into new. You cannot stitch the old cloth in new cloth. It will tear. You cannot put the new wine into old wine, old wine into new. You cannot. You cannot mix it. Because the old was keeping yourself to get fermented, prepared yourself to drink the new wine. The old cloth has been there so that you just wear and get experience so that the new cloth you may wear. That is what today, to that only, the transfiguration takes place. That is the reason transfiguration. We may all say Jesus became dazzling white. Why he has to become? He is revealing whatever the old you are saying that it's happening now. It is me. That is what, when he came on the Mount Tabor, 
The mountain plays very important role in Jesus' life, as well as all the prophets, even God himself. Yahweh himself, every time, whenever he appeared, he preferred on the mountain, because mountain become a pure and holy, nobody can reach there. That is a meeting place of God. We start from the time of creation. After creation, God accepted the offer tree on the mountain from Abel, or even from Adam and Eve. Later, very important personalities like patriarch, we call it. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Gideon, all the judges, Joshua, all these people started offering on the mountain. We see King David, after committing sin, he goes to the threshold. The threshold means a place, upper place, on the paddy field. So he goes, offers there the offer tree. He buys that particular place from the person and he offers, crying, he offers for the sin offering. So these are the very important, because that is the place God will meet. And in Jesus' life, also, see, Jesus also begins from the mountain. Temptation mountain. If you go to the Holy Land trip, so beautiful to see that experience. The first thing is that the temptation mount we call Jericho, huge high mountain. There he experiences God's presence and there the Satan comes and tempts him, shows everything. And further we see the same after Gospel of Matthew 4 temptation, the five comes, Jesus' proclamation of the word of God, the beatitude, the Mount Tabo, uh, sorry, the Mount preaching. So that is also we see on the mount. Then later, Jesus comes wherever. He started preaching. Whenever, after preaching, or before preaching, goes up to the mountain, spends time, and comes down. And one by one, we see all these mountains are very important. It plays a significant role in Jesus' life as a prophet load. And we see in this transfiguration, that is what the second part, we should make sure that he confirms. He confirms he is greater than the Old Testament. What is Old Testament, my dear sisters and brothers? Old Testament is nothing. The law and the prophet. Only two are plays important. How the law started. God gave the law to Moses. Before that, there was a having a covenant. They didn't have a law. Covenant between the patriarch, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If you find a little heavy what I'm telling you, I'm putting it just very simple form. Covenant means making a promise, a law, something what we make in agreement. After agreement, something came law. What is this law? The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is a God. You have to follow the Ten Commandments and the temple and God will be there with you. That is what there. And who stands for the law? Moses. They always say Moses, Moses. And even they spoke all words against Jesus saying, you're blasphemy because you're going against Moses and his law. Jesus said, Moses has just brought the law. But the one who gives the law, it's me, said Jesus, is Yahweh. People didn't accept it because of their stiff neck, evil, everything. They lost him. That's so how from the blessing, whatever has been given to Jewish, came to all the others, non-Jewish. So we all receive this favor. So Moses, so Jesus in the Mount Tabor, when the Moses came there, he proclaims he's greater than the Moses. Because we call Moses, he's a man of Mount Sinai is a man of Mount Nebo, where that is a final place God showed to Moses, you cannot enter the promised land. God himself st strikes Moses and stops. But Jesus is the one creator. He is greater than the Moses. He is the land of everything. Nobody can stop him. Moses not even enter the promised land. But Jesus himself is the promised land. That is the beauty of Jesus. And he just focused on that and he showed to the people, he's greater than Moses. He's greater than the law, whatever you say. And he himself is the law. And second thing, among all the prophets, a par excellence is prophet Elijah. He didn't even taste the death. And Elijah appears in Mount Tabor and speaks to Jesus. And Jesus says that he is the king forever. He is a prophet forever. He is a priest forever. In the order of Melchizedek of old. So my dear sisters and brothers, we need to reflect on this. Transfiguration is not just ordinary thing. That is the time Jesus said purely, as I was said earlier, there is something called progressive revelation. Slowly Jesus was revealing and Jesus himself was not knowing. In transfiguration, Jesus revealed himself fully, totally that he is God. And he has to die. He has to suffer. He has to receive the passion. And he has to rise from the dead. 
That is, uh, symbolically, Jesus uses the word in today's gospel to the apostles, to Peter, John, and James. He says, fear not, rise up. Fear not, rise up. I am greater than the prophets. I am greater than the law. I am greater than everything, whatever you see. I am here with you. Why you fear? Fear not, rise up. So my dear sisters and brothers, as we're reflecting on this transfiguration, we need a gift of transformation in our lives. Transformation is very important in our life. We need to receive day-to-day -day transformation. By looking at the Lord, by reading the Bible, by attending the Holy Eucharist, by receiving Jesus, we need to receive transformation. Everything that is happening in this world, in this nature, it's a sign and symbol that God is giving to us. Transformed. Get transformed. Get converted. Get changed. Don't be stubborn. Don't be arrogant. Don't be evil. Receive the transformation. That is what the Lord is saying to all of us. The feast is giving the message to us. If you think you are a good wife, try to be a best wife. If you think you are a good husband, try to be a best husband. You to be a good children, you to be a best children, holy children. If I try to be a, a good and holy priest, let me attain a more holier than this. That is called transformation, not an easy life. Just come, getting up early morning, brushing up, start your work, again have a breakfast, lunch, same routine, same routine, same routine. That is not that. Transformation, Jesus gives a message to all of us, we need to receive the grace of transformation, gets transformed, gets transformed. Otherwise, there is no meaning in our life. There is no meaning to be a Catholic. There is no meaning in receiving blessing from God. So Jesus is God forever. Jesus is a Lord forever. Jesus alone is the Lord and God. And he has shown that he is everything. He is a Father, Son, and the Spirit. And he is a creator. He is a redeemer. He is a deliverer. And he is the one who produces salvation for us. And also, finally, he is a sanctifier. He's a sanctifier. So accept him and ask the Lord to give the grace for me and for my family and for everyone to receive the gift of transformation. You might have heard this famous word from the school we have studied that what Abraham Lincoln had said and many of them have said, you cannot change the entire world, but you have to change yourself. So transformation will happen when I get transformed. So slowly the transformation will start spreading. So when I'm not transformed, how can I try to transform the world? So my dear sisters and brothers, let us ask Jesus to give the heart of love, heart of charity, heart of compassion, heart of forgiveness, and a heart of more of a surrendering, getting ourselves humiliated and humble in the presence of God. God will exalt us, and that itself a great transformation. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of our human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, work of our human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ.
Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He revealed His glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and filled with a greater splendor the bodily form which He shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of His disciples, and that He might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully is shown forth first in its head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth before your majesty without end. We acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may come for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave a disciple saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, a church spread throughout the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let's remember all the departed ones from our family, from our community. May God grant them eternal bliss deliverance from all the past sin in their lives. We especially remember the departed ones you offer, very especially in the Holy Eucharist. The soul of Valsa Fernandez, the soul of Philomena, as we celebrate the first death anniversary. We pray for all the souls in purgatory of our Bashar and family. And also, very especially, we pray for the souls all have been not remembered, and also we pray for the souls of religious priests. And also we pray for the soul of George Victoria Anthony de Souza. We pray for all those ones who specially requested our prayer, believing they are in purgatory, may received in heaven. In all of our bride in your mercy, welcome them, the light in your face. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on all the families gathered here. Those are part of the Holy Mass. Bless them, Lord to receive you all the blessings, the gift of transformation in their life and their families. Very especially we offer those who ask us to pray, to whom we promise our prayers, those who are sick, those who are hospitalized. We pray for the intention for blessing of Karnikiya Mary and her family. We pray for the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and our other intentions. And intention of Lakshmi for deliverance from all our mother evil and conversion of her. We also place all those who are in need of your grace, all young boys and girls looking for life and for the future. We offer them. We offer all those in need of your help and blessings and protections. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That we blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, his spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints, Saint Anthony, Saint Francis Xavier, 
We are pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co has eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread. Forgive, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior lord jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ at your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, he showed who is he? What is he? Through the great transformation, he made everyone to receive the transformation gift. Let us receive him, get transformed. Happy are those called to the supper of this living God. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe, I believe that you are present, that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament, I love you above I, all things. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. To receive you into my soul. 
since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself wholly to you wholly to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen so of my savior sanctify my breast body of christ be thou my appears we shall be like him we shall see him as he is let us pray may the heavenly nourishment we have received o lord we pray transform us into the likeness of your son whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration who lives and reigns forever and ever amen prayer to saint anthony o, o loving, loving saint, saint anthony, anthony. You, you were a special, a special witness, witness of God's power and a loving imitator of Jesus who received from God the special power of restoring lost things and the patron of the poor. We lift up our prayers to you. We trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present need. Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back.